Welcome back to another episode of Old School. This is a viewer's request. Big shout out to one of our awesome subscribers, ZPB Studios, who asked me to take a look at this Resistance 2 on the Sony PlayStation 3. This is exclusive to Sony's console. And I've been playing for 15 minutes-ish, just to get a feel for the game. And I like it so far. I remember the original Resistance game, wasn't it? One of the launch titles for PS3. I've never played any of them, because I know there's also... I think there's a Resistance 3 as well, isn't there? But yeah, I like the gunplay in this and that kind of thing so far. So here we go, mate. This is for you and anyone else who's interested or who has stumbled all across this video. Um... I'm not really feeling the story so far, but I haven't really been taking notice of what's happening. You know what I'm like. <laughs> uh, it's, it's your general sci-fi fair. Okay, so these big dudes, I got to... I've already taken out one of its... You'll see what I mean now. It's got like an exhaust on the back. If we take out all four, this might be the fourth. It is! I've got a trophy! Uh, this game's cool. Really cool. And... It's made by, um... Insomniac. I've actually remembered. Yeah, Insomniac developed this game... <laughs> he doesn't look amused with me, my mate. Yeah, Insomniac make loads of good games, don't they? Spider-Man... I was going to say Crash Bandicoot. They don't make Crash Bandicoot. That's Naughty Dog, isn't it? Uh, what was the other game I was thinking of? I was playing it the other day. On the on the PS3. Oh, I don't know. Not Jack and Dexter. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, yeah, this is good. I, I kind of just... With games like this, military-related games... I never really take in the story. I never really enjoy it. It's not my kind of thing. Again, it's just preference or personal preference, isn't it? I, I play these games for the gameplay, for the shooting. So, yeah. Um, and so far, very good. I think visually it's really nice as well. i got some review scores on the other screen here. Let me have a look. Seeing as we've got a cutscene. IGN gave this a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, Giant Bomb gave this a 4 out of 5. Big shout out to Giant Bomb. He used to love that site. Eurogamer gave it a 9 out of 10. Surprise, surprise, the one site that scored this game with an average score is Edge, 6 out of 10. But they did that with so many games. I always say this on old school, or I do say it a lot, but Edge liked to be different, in my opinion. But then they went and gave Bayonetta a 10 out of 10, and it's not a 10 out of 10 game for me. Again, personal preference. But yeah, this is one of the better first-person shooters I have played on the PS3. And... Again, ZPP Studios, thank you for this suggestion because I was making a point in my Haze video that I did for bad video games, or rather I asked the question, does the PS3 or did the PS3 have any good exclusive first person shooters? Like I couldn't think of any, this is one. So it's good to finally play this. It Reminds me a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit of Half-Life 2. That kind of, you're on your own and go out there and, and shoot stuff. Even though you're not strictly on your own, you've usually got one person with you. But like some of the platforming, it's very basic, straightforward platforming. But jumping across gaps and... I don't know. It just reminds me of it. Just, just a tad... Even though Half-Life 2, in my opinion, is superior to this game. It's actually nothing like Half-Life 2. Ignore the previous two minutes of my <laughs> ramblings. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, the audio's glitching a little bit for me, guys. I am emulating this via RPCS3. Gameplay-wise, it's as smooth as butter. But I have been noticing audio, like I say, stuttering. The audio won't be too loud for you, or rather, the, oh, the game audio won't be, so you might not notice it. But like I say, gameplay-wise, it's so smooth. It's such a good emulator for these kind of games. Not so much the sport games. Um, is it going to let me play? Yes, it is. I thought it froze up then. I thought, here we go. i got to reboot the emulator, but no. Help! Yeah, this is cool. Here we go. Half-Life 2 sort of bits. You kind of see what I mean now, guys. <laughs> Maybe Half-Life 2 meets... Oh, what is the gay... Oh, what's that in the water? What's the game in a fictional post-Soviet Russia? And it's, it's superb. It's more like a survival shooter. I'm trying to remember the name of it. You know what my memory is like. It reminds me a little bit of that as well. Fantastic series of games based on books. One of you guys will get it. Okay. The um, variety of weapons in this so far has been quite impressive. I love that the guns, regardless of whatever gun you've got, they've all got a secondary function. So you can fire your grenades from your gun, basically. But you can also, I think you can toggle different grenades on said gun as well. So, there's loads of cool little gameplay mechanics in here. Let's go. And I would have absolutely loved this back in the day. It passed me by for whatever reason. I was probably playing a lot of Xbox 360 around now. And like I say, it's uh, running buttery smooth. i got to stop saying, saying buttery smooth. I must say it every video. I right, can't jump over there. Uh, let me in. Oh. It's reasonably challenging so far as well. It does... Oh, these things. I was just going to say. The drones are pain in the arse. Or oh, they are pains in the arses. Pains in the backsides. <laughs> I'm getting my plural and non-plural words all mixed up. The bullseye. But yeah, this got really good scores across the board. And a very... Oh, no. Oh. I actually jumped then. I don't think you're supposed to sprint and jump that gap. I just think you're supposed to walk. Just a nice safe walk. Here we go. There we go. But yeah, very highly thought of because, I mean, when you compare it to something like Killzone, that game is so bang average in my opinion, guys. Um, when you compare it to something like that, it's so... This is so much more satisfying to play. It's very easy... I'm assuming this for developers, but it's very easy to get a first-person shooter wrong. Because there are so many, I can play them, like with Haze. Check out the video if you haven't seen it. It's just like shooting at air, I think I said on that video. It's, there's, no f there's no weight behind the, the guns or the shooting. There is in this. And I like, I like a bit of horror or a bit of science fiction thrown in as well keeps the intrigue levels quite high and yeah this is super cool it's a good request okay but I always say this as well or what I'm about to say guys it was such a thing in the PS3 and 360 era wasn't it to have this colour palette with your video games everything's a bit wishy-washy a bit washed out this kind of 
the dull greys and dull browns and dull oranges. It was used a lot in the games. We didn't really have super vibrant, colourful games. Or we didn't get a lot of them. Everything was quite gritty. I mean, I think it was the the era when we we truly had consoles aimed at older gamers being released. I'm on a rampage. Although you could argue PS2 era was the same. We started getting a lot of uh, risque games with the likes of GTA Vice City and GTA San Andreas, etc. Okay. Right, I gotta do two checkpoints apparently. I always have to explore every corner, and you're not really supposed to in games like this. Just do your objectives. This isn't Fallout, you know, it's just like. Right, there we go. Why couldn't I have done the first room that I went to first? It's like, I was just in this room we're going to now. I was just here a few seconds ago. Video game logic for you, that. Right, what's going to kick off now? Okay. Too big to be a fury, apparently. Uh oh. Right, I'm nice and safe in here now. Oh, I like the effect on the water. That looks like water. That's good water. That's a thing, another thing that developers can get really, really wrong really easily is the graphics of water. I always remember seeing, and I'm going off subject a tad here, but the graphics of the water in GTA 5, when I first saw that on, might have even been the 360 version of GTA 5. I was blown away by how good the waves and the sea looked in that game. Absolutely blown away. And then you've pl I've played games... <laughs> Like, I think Rust, in its early days, uh, or, or even when it was released on console. Can I go up here? No, I don't think I can go up there. Um, yeah, Rust, when it first released on Xbox, I love that survival game. Yes, I know some people aren't bothered by it or about it, but the graphics on the water was dreadful. It was just dark grey matter. It was. It didn't even look like... Water, it looked more like oil. <laughs> anyway, back to Resistance 2. I'm intrigued. What are the originals? Sorry, I'll try that again. What is the first game like, and what is Resistance 3 like? Let me know in the replies. And which is your favourite out of the three? Was there a fourth? Lots of questions for you. Lots of homework for you guys. Ah, oh, these things are such a... An annoyance. I'm still trying to think of that game I was on about in uh, set in Soviet Russia. It'll come to me. There's been quite a few of them. Oh. Oh, oh I'm going to die. No, I'm not. So, in regards to your energy system in this, it uses that. I mean, we've seen it a million times, but you don't have energy, per se, or lives. You kind of just get some cover and let your dude recover, which I love. It's always been my favourite energy system in the first-person shooters. I don't want energy bars and that kind of thing. Just just let me go and recover somewhere. Happy days. What the hell's this thing? Oh, okay. Don't engage this big blue drone. Right, stay low, do exactly as I say. Can I just go this way? 
Am I supposed to wait for him to tell? Oh no, I've balls this up, haven't I? Oh. <laughs> I've answered my own question there. Yes, I'm supposed to wait for my mate on the radio to give me instructions. <laughs> Let's try that again. Checkpoints are very reasonable, I would say. Or kind. Checkpoints are kind to you in this game, guys. If you like kind checkpoints in your video games, Resistance 2 is for you. Okay. Right, here we go. Okay. So I like a game when it mixes it up like this. This is cool. A little bit of stealth. We lots of stealth in the videos I've been making lately. Prison Break. Uh, this. I've also made the Shield video, which isn't up yet. You will see that. That will go live. Oh, today, I think. Am I supposed to be crouching? I don't know. Yeah, look out for the shield on bad video games. PS2, that'll be up after this, basically. Probably later today, I've got to make a thumbnail for it. Uh, information that none of you needed there. But I just thought I'll share my thoughts with you. Okay. Oh, so... Okay. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do this section the way I am doing this section. Let's try it again. It's my fault. Too, too much talking about what videos I've got scheduled. Now, nah, this game's awesome. Love it. Right, okay. I don't know if I should be crouched. Yeah, even the game's telling me now. Look, stand up, for God's sakes. Oh, I'm stuck, though. I'm stuck. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, these bits are very Half-Life 2. I know I keep saying it. Oh, no, 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 get back in there, get back in there, get back in there. Okay. I'm holding, I'm holding position. Right, here we go. I'll try not to die again. Ah, this is awesome. I'm, I'm amazed I never played this because I love a good first-person shooter, a good single-player first-person shooter. And apparently, this did have a really good multiplayer component as well. So you could really get your money's worth with this game. Okay. Right, can I... Look at that thing. What is that thing? I thought it was like a, a, a scuba diver at first. <laughs> Can I go through here? Oh, I gotta go across, haven't I? I don't want to. I don't like the looks of that thing. Yeah, I think I've gotta go across, guys. Okay. Where is it? How many of those things are in the water? Is it just this one? That, that doesn't even touch it, look. Okay. Oh... Okay, are these my mates coming down to open a door for me? Oh, no is the answer to that. Oh, yeah, I love the gun playing this. Absolutely love it. Superb. I hope we get a resistance. Resistance 4 or 5 on the PS5. That'd be cool. Right, where's this fish thing? A has it gone now? Where are you, Mr. Fishy? Uh-oh. Right, let's wait him. Wait him. Let's wait for him. Or her. And now, go, go, go.
Yeah, cool as hell. That is Resistance 2. Let me know your memories with this game if you've played it, guys. Look at that. You could do that. Oh, no, I got motion sickness. No. <laughs> yeah, let me know your memories with this game if you have played this game. And let me know which your favourite game is. And also, try and help me remember what that game is. I've been trying to reference but can't remember. Anyway, I'll speak to you all soon. I'm here to get you out, Doctor. Spasiba, Lieutenant. We'll have to cross through the detention wing. Rotsuda, we must hurry. <laughs>